So for now, for this housing, I'm thinking about using this baseboard. Um, I have an extra baseboard lying around and I just need something for the prototype, but um, I will not use the entire baseboard because this height here is much too high. If I use this baseboard completely and then underneath it is another couple centimeters for the scale, then on top of it will be yet another baseboard. Then on top of that will be, of course, the hive. I'm probably just gonna end up just using this top portion, including this top bar here. I'm actually kind of happy with the height. I do realize that there may be a problem with the Arduino because although it does slide into this space quite nicely, there is a problem with the header clearance. So there's really not much clearance. So I might have to cut out a portion so that I can actually still slide the Arduino uh, in and out without having to take the entire construction apart. All right, so I put it on the scale. These long, these screws here were a little bit too long, so I had to use some uh, shorter screws. Looks like it fits okay. This is hanging a little bit over on the edge, but that's because this crossbar was met, was cut a certain way. So for prototype, it's all good. Well, what I did today was I soldered some of the wires the, the input wires or the output wires to the Arduino. I soldered them directly onto the HX711 because there was some loose connections there. What I also did is I just got some nice wires here and connect the, the wires coming directly from the load cells to glue it down here and here. Have to also cut in some kind of wire in some kind of a switch. I'll probably try to put a switch on this side. This will be the opening for the Arduino, something along that lines. I'm gonna put this four kilogram weight on here and it should give us a nice measurement, five kilograms, give or take a few grams. All right, so before I close this up, let me just show you what I've done. I added a little switch here to the outside. Uh, let me show how it looks on the inside. I'll screw this on top afterwards. The switch goes to this little uh, nine volt battery pack, which is glued to this uh, piece here so that if, if I need to change the battery, I can just take the whole thing out. I actually kind of boxed in the Arduino uh, with some small pieces of wood so it won't slide around. For a prototype, I think this is definitely fine. I also recalibrated the Arduino because of all the added weight from the, the support here. That's why we see zero here. Next step is a field test.